Conservative New Media viewers, what's going on? It's me, John D. Villarreal. We've got another really cool science story here. And what we're talking about now is anti-matter. Now you gotta remember, when the Big Bang happened, when the universe was created, the so the theory goes. First of all, this is all my personal opinion only. I'm not alleging facts, I'm not casting aspersions. This is all for entertainment purposes only. Please check the disclaimers. The theory of the Big Bang goes that when the universe was created, both matter and antimatter were created. And now we obviously know what matter is. I mean, we're here on the Earth, and that's made up of, of different forms of matter and stuff like that. And we've got planets and stars and all that type of stuff. But there's also this thing called antimatter. Now, what's really amazing is when matter touches antimatter, both are immediately destroyed, and the end result is pure energy. But up until now, it's been impossible to measure this type of, of, of antimatter because again, when it touches matter, it's immediately destroyed and goes into energy. Now, scientists from Canada have been able to contain and now apparently measure antimatter. They've got an atom here. It's an anti-hydrogen atom and they have been able to use magnetic energy, magnetic forces, to basically hold this anti-hydrogen atom, this antimatter atom, in a kind of temporary stasis, if you will, in my personal opinion, and then be able to measure it. Are we going to be able to have a situation where we're able to study much more of this antimatter? What other kinds of applications are we going to be able to potentially use antimatter for? It's a totally fascinating situation here, folks. I want to know what you think about this. Big props to these Canadian researchers that, in my personal opinion, have done some amazing work here. This is absolutely fascinating. Let me know what you think about this. Give me the comments below. Please subscribe above. I'm John D. Villarreal. Let me know if you like or dislike this video. You're watching Conservative Media. We will see you next time.